Hello everyone, this is Erin and I am so glad you are here for this video. As promised in my previous sit down video where I explained how we cloth diaper, I promised I would film this cloth diapering and wash routine video for you all. So while this video is going to be more of just a demonstration, if you want to know exactly what cloth diapers we use, what inserts we like to use, and more details on the products and everything, make sure you watch that sit down video. And just a disclaimer, we've only been cloth diapering for about five or six months now. This is just our wash routine and what works for us. And we really haven't had any kind of bad smell coming through on our diapers so far. So here it is, everything from using the cloth diapers to washing, stuffing, and putting them away. Here's how we do it. So a quick little demonstration on how I would actually put on a cloth diaper. Here we have a bum genius pocket diaper. Now the trick with these is when you pull them up, you have to really squeeze it and get the elastic really up in their leg crease. You don't want it over their thigh. That's when you start to get red marks and it starts to squeeze. And for Junie, she's about 11 months old and we have these snapped up on the first rise just to make it a little bit shorter. And then we button the bottom row over two buttons and the top over three buttons. So it really just depends on your baby's legs and their waist. Then I will just tuck the excess flaps down and then I will take my fingers and push all of the extra fabric up and make sure nothing is really hanging out. Give it one last check. And I will also take my fingers and sort of go around the elastic around her legs just to make sure nothing is too tight and everything is up in that leg crease. So once we get her out of the cloth diaper, if there is just pee in it, I will just put it in a big wet bag. Now if she has pooped in her cloth diaper, we will spray the poop off first. So I will just grab our spray mate bucket. This thing is awesome. It sits perfectly right on top of the toilet and then we just clip on the cloth diaper. And if the insert has any poop on it, I will clip that as well. And then I'll take our little handheld sprayer and just easily spray the poop off. No, there's no actual poop on this. I figured you didn't want to actually see poop. Was I right? Yeah. I was right, right? So we just spray it all off and it all just goes in the toilet. Then I'll put that up and just wring everything out. I personally don't wear gloves. Uh, it doesn't really bother me. I just give myself a really good hand washing when I'm done. But we just squeeze these out and then these go right into the same wet bag. And I actually don't zip up the wet bag. I just leave it open. I find that the airflow helps to keep things smelling better actually. And then I'll just put the spray mate back. It just kind of sits on the shelf in the guest shower and it comes with this little tray so that the poopy water just drips right into this little tray. So when our wet bag is full and the cloth diapers are ready to be washed, this is typically after two or three days, I'll take the wet bag and dump everything into our washing machine. I'll also turn the wet bag inside out and throw that in there as well. I'll also go get the wet bag that lives in our bathroom. We actually have a bidet in our bathroom as well that we use and these are just the cloths that we use to pat ourselves dry. So we just use these little white cloth squares for that and saving a lot of money on toilet paper. And it just makes sense if you're already washing the cloth diapers. So we throw those in there and I turn this wet bag inside out as well. Then I'll grab our laundry detergent. This is the laundry detergent we use. You wanna make sure you get something with enzymes in it. You just have to be careful if you're trying to go for a more natural brand, you do want to make sure it's actually still cleaning the diapers. So for this first wash, I do a nice big cap full of this all the way to the top. And I'll go ahead and do an initial pre-wash. I just do this first wash on rapid wash and then I set the temperature to as hot as my washing machine can go. Soil level, extra heavy, spin speed, max extract. And then I go ahead and just click the deep clean button. I think it just does it a little bit longer and I will start. While that's going, I will collect some of my other laundry, just like t-shirts, basketball shorts, just kind of regular laundry, I'll collect that. And when that wash is done, I will add all of the t-shirts and the boxers and the regular laundry and I'll kind of mix all those in together. I found that having more clothes in there when I do the second wash, sort of agitating everything and rubbing up against everything, it really helps to get things more clean. So for this second wash, I will add a whole other cupful and a half actually. So I know this is a lot of detergent, but I really wanna get them clean. And for this second cycle, I will put it on just a normal cycle and I will put the temperature of the water to warm and the soil level extra heavy 
and the spin speed around medium. And I will also set that to deep clean to make it go longer. And I love that my washing machine has this extra rinse button. So basically it will rinse everything again after it cleans it. And that is nice just to make sure all of the detergent is out. So once those are done, I will throw most of the normal clothes in the dryer and I will also throw the inserts in the dryer. So this is the absorbent part that goes in the cloth diaper. Now the shells or the outer layer, I will set those aside and I actually hang those to dry. Most of my clothes, if it has elastic, I try and hang it where I can just because I find that putting clothes with elastic in the dryer, it kind of makes the elastic wear out a little bit faster. So for this dry cycle, I like to put the temperature on low and then I have the dry level set a little bit higher just because the inserts, they hold a lot of liquid and sometimes they have to go a little bit longer. So once the dryer gets going, we'll just hang the shells up to dry. Now those typically will be dry the next day. They dry pretty quick. And now it's time to stuff the diapers. So the first thing I do is I will take the shells and I will snap them up to the correct rise or the size. So I snap them up once. So we have some primary blue and red diapers. I just designate those as her nap time diapers. So for her nap time diapers, we don't actually put those up on a rise because they're triple stuffed, which you'll see in a little bit. But I find that those work better if we just leave those completely open and don't snap those up. Now, like I said, those inserts really hold a lot of water, especially our hemp inserts. Those are typically sometimes a little bit damp still. So I like to throw those back in the dryer sometimes and just make sure those are really dry. And while those are drying, I will typically just fold the rest of the laundry in that load. So once the inserts are finally dry, I will just separate those into the different types that we have. So we have our Bum Genius microfiber inserts, our bamboo blend inserts from our Nora's nursery diapers. Those I believe also have microfiber in them. And then we also have our hemp inserts. So once those are all separated out, it is now time to stuff. So usually I will stuff our nap time diapers first. So for these, I will snap one of our microfiber inserts to double it over. Then I'll take our Nora's Nursery bamboo inserts, double that up. And then I will take a third insert. These are our hemp inserts and I will triple stack that up. So this is our nap time diaper, a little more absorbent. Then I will take the shell, place the stack of inserts over my forearm, and then stuff them in. If you want to learn more about why we stack our inserts in specific ways and sort of the thinking behind that and the different absorbency levels, make sure you watch that sit down video where I talk about how we cloth diaper. So once the diaper is stuffed, I will snap these over just to have it all nice and packaged up neatly and place it to the side. And I'll go ahead and just do all of the nap time diapers first before moving on. So for the regular diapers, I typically will snap the microfiber inserts up one just because they're a little long. And then I will take a hemp insert and double those up. And I find with that hemp insert, as long as that is on the back, farthest away from her booty, I get no leaks whatsoever. Hemp inserts are amazing. So I'll go ahead and just finish those up. So 
so we don't have enough hemp inserts to double up with those on every single one. So typically near the end I have to double up on some bamboo inserts. Occasionally I'll get one or two that just have one bamboo insert. And I always keep one diaper empty and I throw that in our beach bag and we like to use these as swim diapers. And then the fully stuffed cloth diapers just go in this basket next to her dresser and the nap time diapers go in this drawer in her dresser. So they are right there and easy to find. And that's about it. We are right back to the beginning. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and leave me a comment below. Is there a different way that you wash your cloth diapers? I would love to learn and see how you do things differently. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Bye. Thank you.